Hello friends, I hope all are doing great. So today in this tutorial, we are going to learn how you can add new library to Proteus software. So Proteus is one of the best available software available in the market for the simulation of digital circuits. Because before implementing the circuit uh, on the practical hardware, you need to implement that circuit on the software. So Proteus is the great choice for that. So let's start the tutorial. So this is the uh, Proteus software. I have uh, just opened an, a new project. So let's add some component. So you can pick it from here, from P icon. You can pick it any new component. So uh, try to use Arduino. Arduino. So now you can see that there is no Arduino library library available. Uh, try to use IR sensor module. So uh, as you can see that this is actually thermometer, not IR sensor. Um, from here you can see that there is no IR sensor available. So let's try to add uh, the library of these two components, uh, IR sensor so and download the, uh, uh, the new Arduino. library. You just need to type on the Google, like I want to download the library of Arduino. So Arduino library for Proteus. So you need to just search uh, this one. Then you will get a lot of website uh, which are providing. Um, the Arduino library. I have already downloaded. You can go on this website, then this website. Lots of website is providing. Even for the IR sensor as well. If you will, uh, if you want to download the uh, uh, IR sensor library for Arduino Proteus, then you need to just search it IR sensor library for Proteus. So this website, the uh, engineering projects website, is also providing uh, this one. You just need to click on it. Once you will click on it then uh, you will find the link to download the IR sensor library like you need to click in uh, click over here so it's very easy because we have already downloaded the library now let me just tell you the further procedure uh, once you will download uh, the library it will come in a winrar form or you can see zip file so you need to extract so right click over here uh, then you can extract it like extract to arduino library proteus so because i have already extracted this file so i can just show you directly so if you will go over here then you will find two file this is dot idx file and dot lib file so these are the two very important files you just need to copy these two files just copy and you need to paste these two files in a particular folder so just go to the local disk c drive so this is the c drive and over here you need to go to the program files and in the program files, uh, just search Lab Center Electronics because Lab Center Electronics is a company which is producing uh, this Proteus software. Now you can see that uh, this icon Proteus 7 Professional. The open this folder. Now go to the library, and you just need to paste Control V. So you just need to paste uh, those two files which you have copied already. So now you can see that. So these are the two files we have copied. Okay. Now this is the Proteus software. Uh, just close it and open it again. Now it's time to pick up the Arduino library. So just uh, write down over here Arduino. Now you can see that we have Arduino Nano, we have Arduino Mini, you have uh, Arduino Mega, you have Arduino Uno. So any library you, you can pick, just click OK. And this is the library, you just need to use it. It's so simple. You want to pick Arduino Nano, then just Arduino Nano. Okay, now just pick it and use it so this is how uh, you can just download any new library in the database of the protein software now if you want to use it you just need to double click and upload the hex file over here ready to go let me just explain you one more uh, component um, let's say ir sensor so this is the infrared sensor library for proteins i have downloaded uh, from the same website and uh, these are the two files, this IDX file and uh, th th this lib file. So you need to just copy it and need to paste in the same folder. Which folder? Um, 
this folder which is not not this one in this folder uh, local disk C, program files, lab center, electronic, proteus, library. So just paste these two files over here. Now you can see that infrared sensor, these are the two files which we have copied in the library data database of the proteus software. Now let's search these two library again in the proteus uh, software. So if you will try to find these IR sensor library, you can't find. First you have to close it and then again reopen it. So, so we have started the Protein software again. Now you can search infrared. Now you can see that there is an infrared library. Click OK. You can paste it okay now the another important thing is like uh, the microcontroller uh, the 805 and pk we are already know um they need x file so this ir sensor also need a hex file uh, so that hex file come along with the uh, zip file or winrar file you have downloaded from the internet now you can see that this is the hex file so you have to upload this hex file in the proteus uh, ir sensor software like you need to just double click over here and uh, you can just give the path of that hex file which you have downloaded so this is how uh, you can add any new library to the protein software now let me just uh, show you how you can play it if you will play it then there will be an error so this error is just because you haven't uploaded the hex file so once you will upload the hex file let me let me just show you how you can upload the hex file just, just double click, click over here, here go to the folder now you need to just look for the folder where you have the hex file of IA sensor. So this is the folder infrared sensor library for proteins. If you will click it, again click it. So this is the hex file. If you will upload this hex file, then there will be no such error. Now let me just play it. Now you can see that there is no such error. So there is a green symbol over here. So there is no such error because you have uploaded the hex file. So this is how you can upload any uh, new library in your Proteus software. So in the next tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can uh, use these new library in a project.